Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to The Sims 4. It's been a while since I recorded, but today a brand new stuff pack came out called Tiny Living. It is actually an amazing pack and today's video we are going to be reviewing it a little bit with for you guys. I've already seen this pack. I've already played with this pack. If you guys aren't following me on Twitch, you guys can follow me there. Everything I do on there is the first time I'm doing it. So when it comes to reactions, reviews, um, builds, anything will be done on Twitch first. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash scarlet sharky. Same as right here if you need help spelling it. But this will be a recorded video on what we did today on stream, reviewing the pack, getting kind of my reaction to it, my thought process and everything. So we're gonna start in Cass. We've got the lovely me here and we're going to just kind of explore and talk about a little bit of the things that came in the pack today. Love the pack by the way, I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. I was super excited for this pack when I heard it was announced. I couldn't wait for it to come out because I think it's got a lot of gameplay elements when it comes to build. Not a lot of gameplay though, like stories or anything. I mean, you can use the builds you do for those, but it's mainly I think a build pack. And today on stream, we had a ton of fun building a very, very tiny home. We'll get more into um, the build and all that in just a minute, but let's focus on Cass. As you can see, here's the beautiful me with my beautiful purple hair. Real quick though, my hair is really not that purple. I wish it was, but it's not. But let's change our hair up. Let's look at just the tiny living hairs. So as you guys can see, there are four new hairstyles. I've unchecked male and female, so this is all for both male and female sims. We've got this one. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this one. Only thing is I wish I could have it in purple, but I'd have to download custom content for that. We can do a violet. That'll be good for me. It's a little too light, but whatever. I love this hair. It's even better when you get different colors and you can see the braids. We used to this on the sim we made today in stream because of the colors that are going throughout it. I love it. But when it comes to other colors, some of them are a little bit, like you can't see them as much. Like the purple is, it's just not as prominent. But I love this. I wish I could do this to my hair in real life. One, it's too short. Two, my hair does not like doing anything. So that's that one and beautiful. This one is actually very nice. It's for both male and female. I believe, um... The male has this one and this bottom one right here, and then the female has all four. I don't think just the female has just these three, and believe this is under female category too. But I actually really like it. For being a short hair and on a female, it looks very nice. Um, I'm a little sad the Sims don't do more down hairs. They do a lot of updos lately and um, me personally, I have my hair down a good majority of the time. So in making Sims, I would rather have more down hairs and then going over to formal and putting an updo for that. But that's just me. Then we've got this cute little curly one. I love this curl. These are a little funky, but I love this one right here. That's a really nice curl and the little nice bun on the back. Super, super cute. Then you've got this one. Just a bunch of curls. I feel like we have one like this. I'm not sure. This one has got to be my least favorite in the pack. So, yeah, it, it's a nice, nice one, but I don't see myself ever using it, even in different colors. It looks kind of nice, but just definitely not really one of my favorites. Next, we have accessories. We've got a couple new ones here. Nothing, nothing too over the top. We've got a cute little earring set and a matching necklace. I did find out today on stream that this necklace 
does interfere a little bit with certain clothing. It would disappear in spots, but um, it works perfectly on this vampire uh, top. So that's always good to see. Um, but we've got these cute earrings with some cute designs, like a half a half plum bob or something, an upside down plum bob, plum bob kind of. But there's a bunch of nice color swatches, very neutral when it comes to uh, the earrings. I mean, earrings aren't usually crazy colors unless you have a crazy design. So it's nice that they used just some nice metal colors. Same with the necklace, same colors. Oops, sorry. Same colors for the necklace. And then glasses, I actually really like these glasses. These are super, super cute and very today's style. Same thing though, um, very neutral colors, nothing too over the top. Um, I like though how they have the frames stay a color and then the earpieces are different. That's really cool. They're even see-through, I didn't notice that earlier, that they are see-through glasses, so that is, really cool but that are that, that are that is the glasses and that's all actually in this category there is no new facial uh facial if, if, uh, nominees or whatever you call those things um no new hats and there is no new makeup which is totally understandable so now moving on to the tops. We've got quite a few selections here. Again, I have taken out the gender. So this is all for every gender, male, female. Um, I don't know which ones were which. I probably can pick it out while we go, but I cannot remember exactly which ones go with which gender. But who needs genders? You can you wear any of this. So here's our first one, which is a nice sweater. Um, I, the only complaint I had about this one is I like it. I do like it. Um, it's just a little baggy in the front. I mean, my sim is a little, a little bit bigger because I'm a little bit of a bigger person. I'm not fit by any means, but it just makes it look like I have a super like beer belly or something. So that was my only complaint. I do, however, believe this is a male's top. So maybe on a male sim, it looks better, but it gives me this beer belly look, but it's not that bad. It's actually kind of a cute little sweater combo with the shirt under it. Some nice color swatches. They went with a very gender neutral, or not gender neutral, um, just neutral colors. Nothing too over the top, nothing too fancy. You've got your plain black and white, then a couple little designs. I mean, look at the details. You can see like the knitted details, which is super, super cool. I love when you can see the details like that. Um, so we've got this one that's got those designs. We've got a little bit of a pattern or just some plain colors. Next, we've got the turtleneck. I really do like this sweater. Paired with the right pants, it's actually a great top. The pants I have on work really well with it. So these ones have a bit more colors. This is, I believe, female and male. Don't hold me to that, but I believe it is. Some nice, again, not too bright, crazy colors. Um, they're yellows. I'm not, I don't like the color yellow very much. It has to be done right for me to really enjoy that color. And their yellows they've put in this game and also Discover University, spot on. I love them. But these have got some nice, like the green is really nice. I'm loving the teals they put in this beautiful color. Of course, you're white. So we've got the same general colors as this one, just no designs and a couple little extra added ones. Next, we've got the rolled up version without the turtleneck. So we got the V-neck going. Same actual colors, so nothing new there. But I really like this one because I like the rolled up sleeve look. I, I can see that pairing that with a lot of different outfits instead of the turtleneck, which seems more of a cold weather outfit than this seems like I could wear it. Almost with like even a formal, if you wanted to pair it with a nice skirt. 
This one, I will admit, I'm not too fond of. Um, let me put my hair up real quick. Okay, we're gonna give me that hair because uh, that helps us see the content. So I'm not fond of this shirt that much. I, I like the idea, but when you zoom in, it looks like it's printed on and it's not actually function. Um, from far away, it looks like you could function with it, but I think zooming in and if you're close to your sim, it looks a little printed on. Obviously, my custom content necklace does not go with this. It ends up going in the shirt. It actually goes in that buttonhole perfect, so that kind of works. But I'm just not very fond of this shirt. Um, colors, exact same. You got your yellows, your blues, your pink white, brown, and black, so um, I don't see myself ever using this one that much, but it's it's not really that bad of a shirt. I just don't care for it. Next we have what I think is a very nice laid back shirt. I mean, you could put this on a female sim and just pair it with like some super cute little shorts and I think you could go out and like, like the whole idea of this pack was like super comfy, something you could throw on and run down to the store real quick. I could totally see this being one of those shirts that I would like throw on, depending on the time of year, grab like some shorts or something and head out. But we've got your solid colors, a little more, a little less options. And then you've got the one where you've got down the center and the collar, you've got some color. They're all right. Um, I'm not a fan of the color combinations they've done. I think this one's probably their best, but other than that, I would rather stick to just a plain old colored shirt. This one is my favorite. I love, 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 love this shirt. And the color combos, They've almost got, there's a couple I don't care for, but I could see my sim wearing this. I might even change my sim into this in a later uh, video or so, but I could totally see my sim wearing this, myself wearing this. So we've got some nice combinations again. Um, the That one's okay. I, I've never been very uh, fond of yellow and green, so... I don't like this one because I don't like the brown with it. If they would have done maybe a black in there, that would have been a really nice. But we've got some with the design and then um, I think they all have design. Oh, no, excuse me. These are plain white shirts, which are actually, I think, better. I like the plain shirts better than some of the some of these. The design is fine, but some of the color combinations they've used, just not my style. I personally love this top. I don't do crop tops myself, so for me, it's a big no, but I really love this one. Again, you zoom in, it looks a little more painted on, but I like the idea and the design. Colors are good. Multicolor one is spot on. Love, love the colors. Again, yellow, so they've got your stripes, and then come down here, you got two that are just plain colors. No plain black one, but the yellow, good job on the yellow Sims. You guys did good, I like it. But um, this one's super cute. We used this on our Sim today on stream. We paired it with a cute pair of pants. So this one is very nice, and I, I could see you wearing that with almost anything again. So I believe this is the male version of this up here. I personally like it for if you're gonna use it on a female for a cold weather outfit. I mean, I it looks nice and cozy. Um, kind of the same thing. The stripe underneath just not a big blotchy stripe. It's more thin. So it's got almost the same colors as this one, but this is I think the male version. But I like it. I, I mean, like I said, I could see putting that on cold weather instead of and pair it with some nice pants, some boots. I think that would look fantastic. Here we've got the grandpa look, in my opinion. It looks like, to me, it looks like my uh, former pastor at my church, except for he would have had a button-down shirt in the middle. Um, but I kind of like this. It's like kind of a 
an elder's feel to it. Um, I mean, your young Sim can rock it too, but I think I think it's an elder's outfit and it's super cute. You got the hidden little fox, which actually comes in in a lot of other new items in this pack. So I love the little fox. Super, super cute. And then obviously we've got our planes, which this one, these to me feel grandma. Like I see like a grandma Sim work, walking around with this. So good on the Sims for adding something that makes it feel a little bit more elderly, but also where it's still stylish. So you could totally put any Sim in this and it would look good, boy or girl. Then we've got the same general thing as almost this one up here, but this one's got buttons, um, shirt, up to the neck, turtleneck, I guess you would call it. Couple design ones, same general idea with the colors, the yellows, the reds. There's, oh, there's a blue right here. Uh, no plain ones on this one. This one comes with all of the designs, so we don't have any colored, any plain old colored ones there, but this one's almost the exact same as the first one we saw, just turtleneck, buttons instead. A little bit different designs, but overall tops I think are pretty good for a stuff pack. Nothing over the top, nothing over exciting, but definitely some fun new things. When it comes to full body, we've got this one. Personally, I don't like it. Um, the pocket is a little bit of a draw off and I think I would like it if the designs weren't here. Like all of them, it just seems like it sticks out. I get the reason they put it there, but personally I could see without it and I would like it. These ones though, I do like the flower ones, but again, the pocket kind of intercepts the image and I just, I just don't care for it. But the colors they did were great. Love the little designs. The striped one's not too fond of, but it's a cute little outfit. This one, this one we freaked out on stream about because if you guys follow me on stream, you will know I absolutely love, love, love panda bears. Look at that little panda peeking out of the pocket. That is by far the cutest thing. And the thing that makes it even better, if you know me on stream again, Purple, purple and pandas. Sims, you nailed it on that one. I absolutely love this. I freaked out when I first saw it because it is just adorable. Like I said, with the cute little pants too. Not fond of this here, but that's okay. We'll excuse that for the purple and the cute panda pocket. But we've got your plaids, which are awesome. And then to me, we've got some more holiday feels to it. They're super cute. I love those designs and the colors they did are great. Then you've got the ones that look more like fall, maybe Christmas time too, because in my opinion, it looks like reindeers, but they're super cute. And I love the designs they did for these pants. This has got to be my favorite full body, like comfy outfit they've done. Of course, the panda. And you can also do the orange panda. Sad there's only two though. Wish the whole outfit had more. These ones I'm not a fan of. I don't like the stripes and the weird like color there just is a little, a little awkward to me. But overall, full bodies are gr great only because of the panda. Other than that, I'm not very fond of the this one at all. And they did actually do pretty good on the colors and designs for this one. So we have um, pants next, or skirts, or s whatever you want to call it. Uh, we did, oh, sorry, please put a top on. We'll just put this one on. Or actually, we probably should put this one on. There we go. So we have this cute skirt. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, because I don't like skirts. Just personally don't like it. But it is a super comfy looking skirt. Same color swatches, reds, greens, yellows, blues, pinks. Um, the, pa the pockets work on this one, so I, I'm, all, I'm all for it. But it's a cute skirt. I don't really see using it much though, personally. These pants are my favorites. 
I love plaid. Plaid is one of my favorite things to wear if I can find the right style. I love the belt they added to it. I think it would have been cute if the pockets weren't those style, like you can actually see the outline of the pocket, but these feel like more of dress pants than everyday pants. So as you can see, the colors, about the same. They didn't really do a lot of um, different colors, so you get the basics when it comes to the colors for this pack at least. Then you have these, I believe these are um, male pants. So it's almost the same version as these, except for, for some reason, The Sims likes to do the little roll up bottoms. Not really sure what they're doing there. I personally like ones that go all the way to the floor or at least cover up this little gap between your shoe and your pants. But overall though, the pants aren't that bad. See, I wish they put those pockets on the these. Honestly, I think that would have looked super cute. But I believe this is the male version. Um, colors are pretty good. The button again looks like it's painted on. Doesn't look like it would be a functioning button. I love those browns. But um, other than that, pants, skirts, no shorts. Um, I wish they would have put in some shorts, but I see why they didn't. Um, they're not really go, they don't really go with this pack. So that is all for the pants. Um, no accessories, for some reason, no shoes. You think they would have added maybe some slippers or something if the whole idea was kind of a comfy feel. But then again, we already do have some slippers. And in our stream today, we actually just paired some pants with the Ugg boots that we have. So those worked just fine. But that is Creatism. Um, overall, I think they did a pretty good job. Nothing over the top, nothing too exciting. Couple memorable items, I think, but nothing I would run into the a gallery to put on my sim immediately other than the purple panda. That is about the only one I would run into the gallery to do because I love purple and I love pandas, so. Cass, uh, pretty good. I, I will give them a thumbs up on that one. So let's get into build mode. So first off, we're gonna review the new lot type. So I placed down this because my game is actually uh, not working at the moment for some reason. The lot type will not show up unless I place one that's already has this lot type. So this will be, uh, when you open this up, you'll have the tiny home residential and you have some requirements, which is super fun aspect of the game. So you can build a micro home. You're only allowed 32 tiles, a tiny home, 64 tiles, or you can go a little bit bigger into a small home, which is a hundred tiles. We built one today that was a micro home. Super fun, a lot easier than I thought it would be, but a little bit harder than you would think. Think. I know that sounds weird, but it is actually easy if you can get really creative in placement. So I highly recommend doing a micro home first because it was a ton of fun. But we're not going to be building today. I will show you a micro home later. I just wanted to show you guys those. Each one has a different tier. Each one has a different tier. So we take tier one. You get light in the load, you'll use more space, or excuse me, you, you'll use less space, so a lower bill. Your relationships are doubled because you're in such a small home. Plants will grow twice as fast, which is really cool. Um, feeling fine all the time, your couple of your buffs stay active longer. Skills increase at double the standard rate. Thumbs up to that, because sometimes I get irritated waiting for them to do their skills. Cozy comfort, so it's more comfortable to them. Tiny home, same exact ones. A couple of them were removed because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, same with three. Tier three, it's a smaller home. Same thing. It only has two perks, but they're kind of actually really good perks. Just being a little bit bigger, you lose some of the perks. But to me, I think they did a good job. Um, 32 
tiles was really fun. I can't wait to try these next two for you guys, though. They're going to be fun to build and make something a little bit bigger. Overall, though, there's not a lot in build mode. We have one new door. Let me filter this real quick. All right. Overall, we have one new door. It's a nice store. I don't mind it. I like the little windows on the side. Some pretty good colors. Um, it was hard to actually make this match with some of the other wallpapers. So that was a little bit of a bummer. But they're pretty neutral colors to some of the other packs. I think I used uh, Island Living and it didn't go well with any of those. You got your vibrant door. Then your basic, you know, wood panel doors. So overall the door, I... I do like it. It makes it feel more of a, a store door, though, than a residential door to me. But it's okay. I do really like it. We used it today in our first build. Another thing is, oh my gosh, the cute little plants. I love succulents. And just this little decoration to hang is super, super cute. It's got some great color swatches, so you can do a couple different colors, maybe just some whites, some co cool designs. Uh, this one looks like the university, so it goes well with the university plants we got. Um, then you got your plain old terracotta ones, which is cute. But this, I've been looking forward to this since I saw them preview it on the live stream because I'm going to use that. A lot. I love little succulent plants and it's a cute little plant decoration. I could see us using that a lot. So other than that, just little thing that you can find here. It is also in decorations, I believe. There is no new wallpapers, a little bummed. Uh, no new floor flooring, which having this pack revolve around kind of more of the build aspect, you'd think they would have added more... I mean, at least one or two more wall patterns or floors, but they didn't. And we've got plenty, so it's not a big deal. But being a kind of a build pack, I thought they might actually add just a couple. So a little disappointed in that, but it's all good. It's all good. So coming into build mode or buy mode, excuse me, the catalog, there is a ton of great stuff. So let's put down all the beds first. All right, I've got them all placed out here for you guys so that we can see them a little better. There's four different styles. So we have just your bed. I mean, it's got some great colors to it. We've got purples. Oh, excuse me. Let me do it this way. There we go. Then you've got your pattern designs, which is awesome. I should be doing this a different way, but there we go. And I love the little pattern right here on the bed, like the little quilt showing up. That is super, super cute. But we've got your color, same kind of color swatches that we've been seeing, but a lot less. These are a little more bright, I should say. So you got your tealish colors, your purples, the blue seems to be a staple color for the pack. Um, but yeah, a couple different designs. So you've got your single bed and that's only bed that doesn't come with the Murphy bed. I'm not gonna show this bed in action today. So if you guys wanna see it, you'll have to uh, either try it out for yourself or um, watch a future video, but you've got the Murphy bed. So we have three different kinds. There's these two, which are the same. This one has a couch already attached to it. Then the same thing over here, couch attached to it and an extra side thing. We're gonna focus on these two first real quick though. So we have this one that's got the bed, or excuse me, the couch already integrated. So we're just gonna check out this one. So you got your normal colors. I love the colors. I do like the wood. I'm big into wood builds, so it's super nice to see um, the different woods and things. I love that the pictures change. There is something fun when you put down the Murphy bed. I will use this one for example. When you put down the Murphy bed, this little bear and little raccoon turn into, they're standing over here and they've got a little blanket over their head and they're holding a hot chocolate inside. So it's more of a nighttime picture where this is your daytime picture. 
I thought that was a really cool idea to change the picture up. So that's super fun. And to see it, you have to put down the Murphy bed and we're not going to do that in this video, but I do think that is super cute. Picture just changed. You can do something more artistic or a little more cutesy. I like that it has a couple different designs. Same exact things over here, except for this one has this and this one has the couch already placed in it. Moving on to these two, which are super, super cute. Same idea, exact same color swatches. So we won't look at these, uh, but what blew my mind when we were streaming today was I thought this was all one unit, okay? You buy it as one unit, one big giant unit. Cool, whatever, you know, really large. You can actually take it apart and can use it anywhere else or even just delete it. See, boom, dead, we don't need that. Or you can make it match the other side, just like this one. I thought that was super cool. I was hoping I could do that with more items in the game, but it was the only item I found that you could actually interact with and take it apart. So if you wanna maybe put it over here, oops, over here instead and use just this, always a good idea. And we'll use one of the items that came with it. This came with the game. You can put something behind the glass. Oh, it's so cute. And that item too is just adorable. I wish they would have more uh, glass candles like that, but they don't. But same kind of colors, the purples, the oranges, the greens, like the blue. It's a little wooden box, which I think is super, super cute. Uh, this one has a couple colors that change here for you in the books. I did not test out if this works as a bookcase. It does. Reading this, combine the best-selling Now You See It, Now You Don't, Murphy Bed and Lovesy Combo, and Powerful Tower Bookcase. So it looks like you can use this as a bookcase instead of putting that into the game. So that blew my mind that you could take that apart because I was thinking it was just one giant unit and kind of was weird at first because it's tiny living. But hey, now we can take it apart. And if you want, instead of buying that, it is available down here on its own. You don't have to buy the bed if you want to just use this. Moving on to comfort, we've got a couple cute little couches or not couches, chairs actually. So you could actually do this if you wanted to. You'd have to turn on BV move objects, but you can, if you don't want to use the Murphy bed, place this behind this with BB move objects on. But other than that, it doesn't work. So we've got a chair that matches the sofa with some nice colors. They, I love, love that. The pillows change. Look at the little fox on that one. Isn't that adorable? And you could see like the design, or not the design, the like texture of the pillow. I think that is super cute. I'm assuming this one does the same. Oh, it doesn't have the little fox though. Oh, that's a bummer, but oh well. The couch is a the couch is special, but a couple fun colors. These have a little bit, some brightness to them. So if you need a brighter house, super, super cool. I don't like bright colors, a lot of the time, unless I'm doing a very specific build for it. I love though that the pillows change, that's fun. Chair, same idea, same colors. Pillows are a little more calm. They don't have as many designs on the pillows like that cute fox. Moving on to the chairs, two cute wooden chairs. I like them. Um, the wood doesn't change as much. There's a couple different wood ones. You go from dark to darker. Couple designs you guys can see. Nothing extraordinary. Some planes and then some stripes so they don't do anything crazy with those. Then we have a little bit of a higher chair. Same thing except no designs. No designs on this one. This one goes very well with this new table we got. A little cute high table works perfectly when you need, a t when you're in a tight space. Only colors are the legs, so we could match it like this. Soup thin like that would look super nice. 
As for tables, the other ones we have um, are this one. We'll get to that one in a minute. So for the tables, we have these. We already showcased this one right here. So we have this one, which you can set things on. I wish you could put something on that bottom shelf. That would be nice, but we'll have to cheat to get that on there. But you can put things on this shelf. Uh, works for TVs too. So that's a cute little idea. This one here is a desk. So it's a little bit of a larger version, but I believe it has the exact same colors, kind of as the TV stand we showed earlier. Your basic colors with the wood and then the drawers change a little bit in some of them. I kind of like it, but I wish like the, like on these, I wish the drawers changed colors on these too. But I mean, I understand why they did that. Then we have this one also, same kind of colors, drawers change. Then we have our just solid colors, which is very, very nice if you're not doing anything too crazy of a build. We have some end tables here with some clutter built in. Always, always a good choice. Your natural wood colors. I didn't get to use any of these tables in my build. I ran out of room, but I do really like the round tables and I like how they're very compact. I like compact tables a lot more than I like the large ones we had in other packs. So these tables are spot on. This one, just the middle changes with the outside changing a little tiny bit. This is a nice one. I really like that. Just a plain wood table. I like how it's lifted a little bit so it's not just a flat table. It's a cute little design. Then we have this. The thing causing an uproar right now when it comes to The Sims. This is technically a table. Fun designs, colors, I just would prefer it as a seat. But I mean, it should be, a, it should be, a, really should be a chair. But some fun designs though. So it goes well, a purple is beautiful. I love that it looks like it's knitted and something placed on it. Super cute idea. All right, moving on to some wall items we have here. So we have two different kinds. We've got your kitchen wall item and your bathroom wall item. Same colors, everything kind of changes up. I love this blue, I love that. We could totally do so much with that color, I think. But I like how everything changes, um, so it's not just the changing of the wood. Same with this one, I believe. Everything, yep, everything kind of changes around. Only thing is I got so excited with that with this right here being removed, the bookcase, I thought maybe they put a hidden thing. We can remove the coffee pot, but no, the kettle, I mean. I thought that would have been super fun. Like, oh, I don't want this cookie jar here. Take it off. Nope, it is actually permanent clutter. So a little disappointed after I got that nice surprise with these, but I understand if they had that we would have way too many things to be moving around but i thought that would have been a cool idea so that's all for wall items oh wait no excuse me we have this put it right up here for you guys so this one as with some other paintings has a lot of hidden designs on it looking at it you think oh it's just a simple little flower i don't want a flower in my house Look at all these designs they put in here. We've got the cute little fox who keeps showing up, the little purple rabbit. It looks something like a video game rabbit in my opinion. And then we have the little fox, or not fox, excuse me, wolf. The little socks, aren't those adorable? And then we've got the cute little coffee cup that goes well in kitchens, a little candle, the cupcakes are adorable. Then you've got your nature ones. Another cute little fox. So definitely when checking out pictures a lot of the time, make sure you go in and actually look at them. Don't take what this preview photo shows as the photo because you're gonna find some cute little items in here like these. And they don't disappoint, honestly. We used two of these in today's build. So they go in any room and look adorable. 
So we got some bathroom items, <laughs> another new toilet. It, I actually kind of like the toilet, honestly. It's actually a cute little toilet. Seems a little slimmer than the others. So approved of a toilet, no colors really, your basics. So nothing special about that other than just a new little kind of slimmer design. This cute little mirror up here, I love, love this. The frame changes a little bit to the other wood colors. Very nice. This has got the same colors as the other ones that had the multi-drawer, so this changes. And your little bar of soap down there changes. Love that little clutter item. I don't feel like I need to put the bar of soap now up on the counter. We're on the last little bit of stuff that comes with the pack. So let's just jump right into it. So we've got the thing I have been waiting for the most. The TV bookshelf stereo combo. Super, super nice for tiny building because I used this and it was a little large, but it fit very well in even a micro home. So you guys can see the colors like I've been seeing. Same idea. The woods change and the drawers change like all the rest. I did hear that this is actually, we can test it with this. It doesn't work with that. But leave with smaller items, you can place something here. Um, you can place things on top here, which is awesome i love that so you can add more clutter if you're a big clutter person like i am then we have this one exact same this just a little bit bulkier i'm loving 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 the purple shelf here that's super cute the rug nothing special about the rug um sometimes we'll be hidden designs with rugs too this one pretty much just changes colors some of them are a little too bright. I guess if you put them in darker rooms, they work, but like that, it just, woo, very bright. But I do like the design. I love the little frillies too. The little frillies, let's get that. Little frillies on it are so adorable. I love frilly stuff like that when it comes to carpets and things. So we have this little clutter item here. I forgot to show the books with the little plants on the sides. I love that they added a bunch of these little plants. So the books change, the pots change, kind of the same pot designs we saw as these. So that is super cute. Do love it. This light is looks more like something that would have come with university in my opinion, but I mean, it, I mean, it works. It's super tiny and it's very cute. It actually put out quite a bit of light when I set it in the house. So that was always a plus because I don't like it when I'm building and you put a light in and it puts off no light. Like what's up with that? But I love the dark colors. They've got some nice dark colors. Next we have this light. It's a little big. When putting it in a micro home, I don't know why they made it so large when the whole point of this pack is tiny living. I don't get it. I mean, in order to make it fit really well, you need to shrink it down. Like this size was actually perfect for the build we did. So I don't get the largeness of it, but I do like the design. Some nice colors again, very subtle when it comes to the little shelf down here. For reference, you cannot place anything on that shelf. It is not a spot. But cheating, I did end up putting a little plant there and it actually looked very adorable. But you do have to cheat to get that to work as a spot. Next, we have dressers. Same idea they've had through the whole thing, the shelves with no handles. I kind of would rather them have handles. These look like kind of filing cabinets in my opinion, or this one does at least. Maybe they should have done ones with where you have those little pull out drawers. I forget what they're called right now. But the little pull-out drawers where you can change the drawer design for whatever you like. I wish they would have done that instead of this look. I think these are my least favorite things that came with the pack. I just don't like them as dressers. Because to me, this looks like a filing cabinet. It looks like I'd pull it open and there would be a bunch of paperwork inside it. Instead of being a dresser. But you got just the same colors. Drawers change. Which I kind of like, but... Personally, I don't really like this as a dresser. This one is kind of the same. It makes it feel like a bookcase with this on top. I get it because they have it so you can put it something up there. And, or I think you may be able to set a TV. Not sure about that, but 
you could put things like that on top, but other than that, I'm not a big fan of this one either. It's a little chunkier. And I mean, you can see how wide it is. And when you put it up against, like I did this, I put this up against the TV and look how much it sticks out. It sticks out so much farther than this really slim. So if this was slimmer and less boxy looking, I think it would have been a better thing, but in my opinion, I don't even really like these that much. So that's kind of a bummer. They've kind of nailed a lot of the things, but there's been a few things like this. I think we could have either had a different design or they could have just taken it out and I would have been good. Last, we have lights, yay! So, oops, sorry, the lights are disappearing. These are cute. We've got your short, medium, long, not gonna just show them all, but they change colors. I love that they change from like a dark red to a pink and a yellow and it's not just all red. A couple ones with designs. Then uh, that's the only one, the white and the black are the only ones that go all colors, but I do like it. You can see the difference in them. But, and they are super bright as you can see this little room I built for this Video is super lit up, even with three of them, even if you take out two. Still a decent amount of light, especially when you're building a micro home. As you guys can see, I only have this wall, which doesn't count. This room is already 25 tiles out of 32 you're allowed for a micro home. So you're building an entire home in this little box. You can actually add a few more tiles though to make it a little bit more functional, but that is the the challenge of doing a micro home is fitting everything in pretty much into a little box. So there you have it guys. That is the tiny living stuff pack. It is now available on PC through Origin if you guys want to get it. It's the normal stuff pack price, which is $10 in the States. I highly recommend this pack. This is a super fun pack when it comes to building. I like the challenge of trying to do a micro home or a tiny home or a small home. And the things they gave us in the pack itself are very, very functional and really help when you do wanna do the challenge of doing something small or even if you just like doing tight spaces. Sometimes even building a big house and you want just a smaller room it has a lot of functional things. And I tried building today, building like the smallest of small rooms and a lot of things function perfectly with it. So all in all, I think Tiny Living is a great stuff pack. Probably gonna be one of my top favorites. The Laundry Day is still one of my all time favorites of the stuff packs. I don't have as many of them, but the ones I have, I think Laundry Day and this one are on the top of the packs. So. That'll be it for this video. If you guys liked this video, it was my first review video of a game and of a pack for The Sims. I hope to do more of these in the future when games come out, or Sims games come out really is what I'll do, but I hope you guys liked this video. What do you guys think about the pack? Do you like the things we got? Do you not like the things you got? Do you think there should have been something else they should have added? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think about this stuff pack because personally, I do like it a lot. There's a few hit and misses, but all in all, every pack has a few hit and misses, some more than others, but I think this one, I had more positives than there were negatives. But Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please hit that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment, like I said, about the pack if you want, or just leave me a hey. I always read the comments and try to reply if I check my YouTube on time. 